What's up everybody? It's VGB. Y'all know me and today I'm back with another video. So I am going to be doing a nest with me video. I still need to create my bedside nursery um, like utility cart situation. Um, I don't plan on doing a nursery. It's baby number three. My boys, I just got one of them out of bed and one still sleeps with us. So um, baby girl probably will sleep with us for a while before she will need to her own room or whatever. We co-sleep so I plan to just have everything bedside. So if y'all are interested and wanting to watch me prepare my bedside nursery, um, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, so I hope you all can see uh, kind of what I got going on here. Um, I have a lot of containers because I will need containers to kind of like divide everything out. So I got a lot of containers and I got some of baby girl stuff over here and then I have some more clothes and things over here. I still need to um, wash a lot of her stuff. I have washed a load. I've been trying to like wash a little bit here and there so that it just doesn't pile up on me. Um, so um, I am going to start off by probably just uh, taking some of her clothes and or taking the clothes and things that I need to wash and um, taking the tags off of those and getting those ready and maybe putting in a load of laundry. I make it to a load of laundry. We shall see. Laundry is not my favorite thing. So I'm not really sure how productive I'm going to feel today. I just finished filming um, my home birth video over there so I've already done a lot um, <laughs> so um, yeah so I'm gonna take these tags off and I'll probably just like speed through all of that and everything so stay tuned I got these um, little bonnets custom made from uh, Etsy and oh my goodness I love them I'm pretty sure her hair is gonna be uh, curly so they have like satin line to stop from like balding and stuff so I'm so excited about these but yeah I just wanted to show you her little bonnets I got multiple of them in different patterns I got this one too this one um, and then these two um, and I will leave a link down below for the lady that made these. She made them super fast and they are so cute and I can't wait to see her in them.
right, so I put everything in like little wash bags, like the socks. I got one for socks, one for mittens, and one for bows. That way I can kind of keep all of that stuff together, um, make it easier to put it away later. So I ended up purchasing her some um, new, uh, newborn onesies and the newborn size i got a lot of three to six months but i needed more uh newborn so i'm about to wash these um but i will probably have enough to start the um bin or the uh bedside nursery utility cart situation <music>
Okay, so I have all of the stuff. I've taken all the tags off of some of the stuff. Some of the stuff had too many of those little clear um, tags on them. Oh my goodness. And it made it really hard and I don't want them to scratch her. So that was a little challenging, but I got um, all of the little clear tags off of stuff. So I have like a bin of just wash buffs. Um, I may wash these two loads first and then the washcloths in a separate load or something just so that I can maybe keep all the washcloths together too. Um, we shall see. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna move all of this stuff to the laundry room. Okay, so I am in my laundry room right now. So these are all of the um, newborn sleepers that I have so far. So that's why I purchased more of them. And then I have my newborn um, little onesies and little hats. I think actually these are newborn. These are zero to three, zero to three long sleeve, zero to three sleepers. Um, and I have two rolls of those. So I have plenty of zero to three, just not too many newborn. Um, and then I got like bigger sizes just going up here. And I like to keep all of our clothes, all of our kids' clothes in the laundry room. It's just easier to do laundry that way. I just fold it and put it away. That way I'm not walking to like any separate rooms. And like I said, um, we are not gonna do her room, her bedroom until she's old enough and like ready to sleep by herself. We plan on co-sleeping. So this is just the easiest way to put laundry up. And let's see, closing this one another room here um this was my baby blanket when i was a little girl so i plan on using that i just have this like um turkish cotton blanket towel thing here um not really supposed to be here actually um then here i have all of um our swaddles that we have so far i I think I've seen three more swaddles that um, we have that I'm gonna wash in the next load. And then moving over here, have these swaddle blankets and then I just um, untagged some more swaddle blankets. So I'm gonna put those in there. And then these are just some cute little outfits that I plan on hanging up. I just haven't hung them up yet, but they're still nice and clean. So that's that. And yeah, so in the laundry room, I kind of just keep um, baby's clothes in here. I did have the boys clothes up here, but I actually moved the boys clothes down. So I'm gonna show so in my laundry room, I moved the boys clothes down here. That way they can kind of self help themselves because they are getting older. So I have their white t-shirts. I love the white t-shirt method um, for PJs. And then down here I have their PJ pants. Then these are Ezra's school shirt. And then in this one I have um, their undies. And then in this one have AJ's school shirts. And then I have them pants in here, jeans in this one. And then I need to get another drawer system, um, but I have some more of their like winter long sleeve shirts matching um, outfits down here. So that is that. And yeah. So yeah, like I was saying, I love keeping my kids clothes in the laundry room. It just makes it simple, super, um, it just makes it super simple to do laundry um, with their clothes just being there. And then I normally do me and my husband's laundry too and I'll just put it away in our closet or whatever. But it makes it simple because we are still like assisting our kids and getting dressed and everything to keep their stuff just in the laundry room. And that way they're not in their rooms like just throwing it all out the drawers and stuff. So um, I love that system 
and so I'm glad that I have enough space in my laundry room to actually add her stuff in there as well um, so that works for us that system works for us um, you know do what's best for you um, but yeah so I am about to start now um, putting together this utility cart so let's get started with that
Okay, so this is what I have accomplished so far as far as um, nesting a little bit and getting this bedside nursery um, put together. Uh, let's see, what do I have? I have fresh clean um, sleepers, onesies, swaddles, um, diaper rash cream, little diaper rash applicators, some newborn diapers, water wipes. Um, in this container I have just binkies and I plan to sterilize all of these um, right before she comes. And then I may get another container for the actual uh, clips, but I got a lot of different um, clips down in here too. But just for now, just to take them out of their packaging, I got them in there. Um, and then I have some clean receiving blankets there. Um, and then let's see, moving to the second row. Um, I have Honest, um, the Honest kit that I got from my registry, which is just um, Honest body wash, shampoo, conditioner, and baby lotion. Um, I have all of that in there. Um, and let's see, moving over to this little part here, I have just little um, silicone, silicone um, little washers that make it easy to wash baby, easy to clean. I have these little um, toothbrushes, silicone as well. Um, I have these bamboo hairbrushes and comb, and then I have a uh, baby friendly nail polish. I can't wait to paint her into little nails. I don't know how that's gonna work with her being so young, but um, I got that in there. Um, and this is not necessarily like the finished product, but this is what I got so far. Um, have some little teething toys. Probably won't keep them in there because I don't think she'll need them like as a newborn. Um, but I just took them out of their packaging as well. Um, this is a little nail grooming kit. Um, then I have the Frida nose aspirator in here. The Frida thermometer. Um, I still need to add probably some gripe water and other baby friendly medicines. And then I have this binky syringe um, just in there, just keeping it clean. Um, and then down here in this container, I have my old Medela breast pump, but I am getting the LV stride through my insurance. So I'm just waiting on that to come in. But um, this is pretty much what I got so far for um, bedside nursery situation. I'm not sure if I'm gonna move my nightstand and just have the bedside nursery. I have my charger over here looking a hot mess and my um, I plan to get the hatch white noise machine as well I think it's called the hatch and so I'm just trying to figure out like since this is mobile and I can take this everywhere um, should I keep my nightstand or what should I do about that I also plan on adding um, two lights on both sides of our bed um, but yeah so I don't know I don't know how I'm gonna do that just yet but this is what I'm working with so far um, just making progress I will have multiple more nest with me videos because I have so much nesting to do um, but this is what I'm getting accomplished tonight I may add her a little bit. I'm gonna move my tree. I still gotta finish my tree, by the way. I'm gonna move my tree probably, and then I'm gonna add her a little um, hanging bassinet up there. I might have time to do that as well, since my boys are spending the night with their grandparents tonight, so I have more time to kind of get things situated, so I need to take advantage, um, but yeah. So I will catch back in a little bit. I'm gonna put um, the containers that I did not use away and 
yeah okay so I have my bassinet um, and snuggle me and I am going to attempt to hang it up here first I need to move my tree that I still have not finished and then um, I'm gonna put my ladder up and try to hang it up there so I'm gonna box everything and do everything but yeah so that is what I'm going to attempt to do we shall see So that was an epic fail. I will insert a clip of what this bassinet looks like um, right about now. But I had this, I thought it was a stud, but it's not a stud. So my husband's probably gonna get me. I don't even know where the, oh. He had like an, like an anchor thing. But um, yeah, so I attempted did not succeed so i will move my nightstand back over um <laughs> and yeah so eventually she the bassinet will be hanging um beside my bed with the with the snuggle me inside so we'll have that together um but yeah so that's that that's how we plan to do that i tried to get it accomplished did not succeed so all right i think i'm done for tonight i am about to hit the hay um but thank you so much for watching me put together my bedside nursery my attempt to hang the bassinet without my husband don't try that at home i don't suggest it plus um i put a hole in the wall so don't don't do that um but yeah so hopefully he can find the stud and then hang this for me but it might get him to get a little move on seeing that i attempted to do so so uh, yeah but um Thank you so much for watching my video um, and just stopping by my channel. I hope it brought you some inspiration if you are nesting or wanting a little um, inspiration to start to nest. Um, don't get overwhelmed. You can do it just a little bit at a time. I know I still got a lot to do. So thank you so much for watching my video. I hope to See you in my next one, and I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye-bye.